Good morning, folks. Today we're going to hit the far side CME for May 20th. Water frost in an unusual place. More on the magneto reception necessity in the animal kingdom and a mystery from 2 million years ago. But we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star and we find things were pretty quiet. There was another flare that erupted from the sunspot turning out of view, not aimed at the Earth. The CME we had been expecting was late and very weak. Minor geomagnetic instability only was observed. A couple filaments released and there are more we're monitoring today, but let's jump back in time to May 20th. The big sunspots had turned to the far side and a CME that erupted off that far side targeted Mars, almost directly opposite Earth's direction. The data has come in from various Mars missions and wow, they took a whack. Radiation static seen on every camera. They estimated the power of the event was X-12, about 10 times stronger than the ones that hit Earth in early May. And it even briefly disabled the Odyssey orbiter's cameras. That sunspot had mercy on our planet given this new information. Speaking of Mars, they are discovering water frost on some of the great volcanoes. They knew water existed as ice on Mars, but they weren't expecting to see it on the mountaintops, which is forcing a complete rethink of Mars' climate and atmospheric dynamics. Teams working on that now. Up next, we've got yet another paper showing how magnetic sense in animals is crucial for their survival. Here, it's young Atlantic herring where they are born with a magnetic compass that allows them to get to where they need to go. It is yet another reason why the shifting magnetic poles can touch every corner of the food chain. It's our future. Last but not least, astronomers are saying we encountered a galactic cloud two million years ago and it exposed the whole solar system to interstellar space where nova isotopes rained down and are found in sediments across the world. Ignoring for a moment the fact that their ability to accurately date these events is questionable, they don't ever consider that the sun may have been responsible for those isotopes, which is odd considering that encountering such a cloud offers the exact mechanism they prefer to offer for nova events in space, dumping of material onto a star. It is my contention that the best candidate for those nova isotopes is in fact a solar micronova during that event. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.